or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be giving you some pool tips on how to make your pool look a little bit different or we're just going to elevate it a little bit more. So some of the tips include the rounded pool like you can see right here. This is not an original idea, this has been done many times before. I don't know who the original creator is so if you do know who the original creator of the rounded pool is please let me know so I can link them down below and give all credit to them. Um, also how to create stairs in a pool, again it's not an original idea, it's been done before and also rounded stairs like I have here. I don't know if this has been done before but I sort of took the idea from Steffa Sims. She did rounded stairs in a house and I was like why not add that into a pool and create these rounded stairs I have here. If you're new to Sims um, you might not have seen these ideas before and you might have come across my video first but if you know any of the original creators to any of these please please let me know because I do like to give credit and I'll link them all down below. First I'm going to go in with the rounded Pool, and I'm just going to place down this. For some reason my sims are glitched into the floor from when the pool was there a second ago. So I'm using the octagonal pool and this is just easier to start off with. You don't have to, you can draw it out to the shape you want. But just drag it to the exact shape you would like and you'd be happy with it. So now what we're going to do is draw a room next to this. So I'm just drawing a room here. It doesn't matter what the wall height is or anything like that. Now you have this room here. What I find easiest is going somewhere else on the lot and creating a similar shape. So I've just put a corner rounded roof down, uh, rounded room down, and then I'm going to put another one down. And you can just repeat this step until it creates sort of a whole shape. Now what you want to do is delete all the walls in here so it becomes one whole room. But now we're going to grab the room by just clicking on it and clicking on move. Click the page up button and place this on top of that single room. Now what we're going to do is just drag it to above the pool, be on the edge here. This can be a bit finicky to get exactly right. I think that is above the pool. I can go ahead and delete this little single room. Change this wall to a fence. If you only have base game, you go ahead and use the smooth keeper fence, which is just this fence here. It's super, super tiny. I like to use the illusion of a fence from Strangerville because it's even smaller and your sims can step over this. Um, just fine, you don't need to leave any areas. So now we have this fence. Also what we're going to do is go ahead and remove this floor, we don't need it. So just go ahead and use the sledgehammer tool and click on the floor. Go to freezes and exterior trims and the best one to use I believe is the stepped exterior trim and this one is base game which is good and this is because it reaches all the way down to the floor. What we're going to do is remove the floor. So I'm just going to click on the floor and click remove floor. So now we've got this floating thing here. If you click on the freeze, what you can do is use this arrow here to drag it down all the way till it is green at the bottom and we have a rounded pool. But it's quite simple and to hide this you can just go ahead and paint the walls more of like a white colour and it's just gonna hide things a little bit more. Like I said, you can do this in all sorts of different shapes. You can do a perfectly round one. I've seen people make heart shaped ones. If you can create a room that shape, you can create a pool that shape. So now let's create rounded pool steps since I'm already in the rounded pool. I think it makes sense. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the basement tool fifth tool along in the walls section. So now I'm just going to click downwards until we are in the swim pool down below and we're going to create a basement under this. So we want it actually to extend, I've mean, already got one here, but you want it to extend further than the pool just because of where the items have to be placed. Now we're going to go ahead and find a round table. So if you just go to the dining room tables, I want a white one just because I find that that will look best in a white pool. Um, this one will work fine for me, but just use whichever one you would like. And what we're going to do is size this up in the basement. So I need to go one down. Think about this size. How many times did I do that? One, two, three. The three sizes. And what I'm going to do is raise it up till it is sat on, like the top part of the table is sat on that wall. And then I'm just going to page up and see what that looks like. It's too far into the wall. So I'm just going to grab it and move it forward a couple of times. I think it still might need to come further a bit forward. You're going to think the stairs are going to go up and further into the wall. That might be all right for my first set of, my first step. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And again, I'm just going to, then I'm going to raise it up till, I'm leaving a tiny bit of a gap because it means there's less steps and then just set it back once. 
And then we're just going to repeat this step and just raise it up a bit more each time. This one might be too much, I don't know. I'm not lifting this one fully up because I feel like it's going to stick through the floor. There we go, just like that you have rounded pull steps. And your sim won't actually use these, they will technically just swim through these. Like if your sim decides to swim through these, the legs will just go through it. It is purely for decoration only. Sadly, stuff like platforms and normal stairs do not work in pools. I'm really sad that this isn't a thing in the game because platforms would have been ideal for this. So now I'm gonna show you how to do these type of stairs. There's two ways to do this, whether you've got base game only, you can do it base game, or whether you have the spa day pack. So I'm doing this in this little area here, but you can go ahead and just do it on a normal straight piece. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just really wanted this as a little entrance piece. So what we're gonna do is again, page down till we're in the pool, like underneath it. And we're gonna go in with the, I think it's called the Stony Goodness Slab. But if you just type slab in, if you have spa day, you will get this. And it's just a little slab thing. And all we're gonna do is size this up a couple of times so you're happy with the size of the bottom step. You can always go ahead and move things around. And again, you're just doing exactly the same thing as before with the thing, you're just raising up and setting things slightly back. So I had a bit of a play around with these because it is a corner, it is slightly different. But you can see here, um, it's just sizing them to the size that sort of works for you to create the steps. And when you come up, you have perfect steps. So a way to do this base game is actually using the immaculate shelf. You is type in shelf, which is the quickest way to find the shelf. And it is this here, the immaculate. Think of sizing it up. And the thing with this, it will snap to walls. So you do have to bear that in mind and it works better for flat edges. So you can see we have stairs going down here. They are not as good, I find, um, but they do work okay. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.